we're talking about 24,000 breeding pairs and that's down if you look at the turn of the last century they're saying there was about 4 million African penguins um, the steep decline had a lot to do with historic um, issues, things like uh, the fact that we harvested the guano, um, the fact that we harvested eggs. Um, they say they, all these things have an impact. And so now, with, with the, the fact that they're not finding food in the ocean, so now we've reached this critical phase. And this critical phase has organizations like SANCOM working very hard to ensure that wherever possible, not a single bird is lost in any of the breeding colonies. We take the chicks from the colonies. When their parents molt, they abandon them, so they would die. And this is not an unusual thing to have happened. It has happened in time. But because the populations are under such stress, it's really important that we save every single penguin. So what happens is, for that kind of intervention, we would identify chicks that are at risk in the colonies, and then we would bring the chicks to Sankop where they'd spend about three months. After that, they get released back into the wild. While they're here, they learn to swim, they grow, they lose their, they lose their little fluff, and they turn into juveniles. They go back into the ocean, and then they have a second chance. And this second chance is what Sankop hopes will keep on boosting the numbers of penguins out in the wild. The more penguins out there, the more will breed, and with luck, start a turnaround with numbers increasing again. Sankov works with all seabirds, and an ever-present threat is an oil spill. We work with seabirds, so our numbers would be about a thousand seabirds and a thousand um, African penguins. That's in a non-spill year. We speak about spill years and then non-spill years. Um, when in the year 2000, you know, we all know about the treasure oil spill, there were 12,000 people that worked with uh, 20,000 African penguins and 40,000 were at risk. If we took that scenario today, we would pretty much wipe out the entire population. With an oil spill threat always present, it becomes very clear how important it really is to save individual penguins, as the survival of each individual bird has riding on them the survival of the species.